This is Twit. There it is. There is Nightscope's autonomous security robot, the K5, <laughs> patrolling. This is not a joke. This is not a Dalek. This is actually a security robot patrolling. Here to talk about how uh, this robot is being used all over the world to help protect, predict, and prevent crime. Co-founder and chief client officer, also former Texas PD officer, Stacy Dean Stevens. Stacy, welcome. Thank you for having it's me. It's great to have you. Uh, this is hysterical. I'm sure people immediately say RoboCop, right? But what capabilities does the K-5 have, really? You know, I, th I think it's very important for people to understand that this is not Hollywood. This is not TV drama. So It doesn't the, even have arms, no, friends. No, The, the capabilities of the robots are actually quite tremendous. Uh, some of the things that we have, 360-degree video, two-way audio for intercom calls, broadcast, public address system. Uh, oh, so I could say exterminate. You could. I you could, <laughs> couldn't actually do it, but I could, I could say it. Oddly enough, though, that's one of the things that we blacklisted. Oh, uh, really? That's, that's not a, <laughs> somebody can't type that in as a custom oh, broadcast. Uh, but uh, we do have the ability to do custom broadcasts. Uh, we can do license plate recognition, thermal imaging, so looking for heat detection, fire, and the like. So uh, really, it's, it's really about... Surveillance is about watching what's going yeah, on. Yeah, so in, in law enforcement... What's that sound? What does that mean? Uh, we have, you can see it's got uh, audible sound coming out of it. That's the patrol sound for the robot. Oh, so you don't want people to be snuck up on <laughs> No, and two, I mean, think of think of the society in which we live. Everybody's in their device. I right. can keep the robot from running into somebody. I, can I can't, walk right I can't into keep it. somebody from running into oh, the robot. So we, it does have lights all over the outside. There's a strobe light you see flashing on the backside of it. How heavy uh, is it? About 400 pounds. So it's hard to pick up. Uh, it would be very difficult you're to not pick gonna, up. You're not going to just run off but, with it. But that. I have yeah. heard of people trying to knock these over, mm -hmm. get it into the... Uh, the uh, the pond at the mall and push it into the water, stuff like that, right? Steve, yes, yes. Steve? Steve was his name, yes. <laughs> the late Steve? The late Steve. Steve. He's been yeah. reincarnated, though. He's actually working elsewhere now. Oh, but, that's uh, hysterical. He's, he's a great guy. Now, so, uh, okay, I can see this in the mall. It, it's really as much preventative, isn't it, as uh, Absolutely. As surveillance. Yeah, I mean, if you look at this uh, from a standpoint of, uh, of being a deterrent, uh, it is absolutely tremendous. We've deployed right. this in multiple different places, corporate campuses and shopping centers and the like. And uh, as a matter of fact, XPO Logistics just put out a press release uh, a couple of months back. In the first six months of having this robot, they completely Who's eliminated that guy? Arrest him. Campus. Arrest that man. <laughs> You can't arrest anybody with them. No, right? no, okay. but they've completely eliminated crime on their campus in the first six months, and they saved no $125,000. No now, now yeah. can you tell it to follow someone? Uh, no, not really. It's, it's not looking for that. It's looking for anomalies. So if mm -hmm. you think of, uh, if we switch over to something like so a So does it have an autonomous, autonomous mode? Is it an It's fully autonomous, yes. Oh, That's okay. What it's doing so you're right not now. steering it around. You're not driving <laughs> no, around. It's, uh, just wa it's literally patrolling up and down. Correct. Here's the interface on the screen. And you could build it, you could give it like a map that it's just going to, for a mall. We give it a geofence. We give it a geofence and say, operate in here. And then the, the controllers, the client or the users can actually go in and change the patrol routes by right. time of day, by day of the week, so that they're actually hitting the areas that are going to be the most uh, vulnerable. So it, it saw this guy and said, that's a suspicious? Said, there is a person there. Now, that's not suspicious. That's a still. Unless, that's, a, that's, correct. A, that's a held still. And then we can go in and we can play the video associated with that particular event. So now you oh, can wow. see the robot going. So there's presumably an operator somewhere, but not always. Correct. It's like a security camera. There might be somebody looking at it. There might not it's be. It's like your ring. It's just like the ring. It's going to send an alert. Got it's, it. You're not going to sit there and, and look at your interface of your doorbell all day long. No, no, I don't. Same thing with and, this. And, it's, it, and look, it's, see, it's doing it right now. Oh, so you now an alert. We have an alert. This is a license plate that, that we have blacklisted. It's just one out in the parking lot, but we did this for oh, effect. So you could look for license plates. Correct, correct. Wow. So we have license plate recognition. So think about a terminated employee, somebody yeah. to whom I you've don't issued. I want to see him in my life. Somebody yeah. to whom you've issued a criminal trespass warnings. Right. Or what if you wanted to provide a service to your I employees? lost my car. I can't find my car. Can you <coughs> Absolutely. help me find my car? Now, could you could you reverse it and say only allow these these yes. license plates in? Whitelist. So the right. other way around, and it'll give so. an exception alert. But think wow. about domestic violence turning into workplace violence. Oh, That's yeah. one of the most uh, the most think about uh, violent things that complex. happens. Yeah. Yeah. You it's got a parking. 
one source it of is. mass killings in the workplace. It is. So you can right. blacklist, offer up to those people who are being abused the ability to blacklist a domestic abuser, prevent that wow. domestic violence from turning into workplace violence. I'm liking this guy. Yeah. You want this guy on your side, don't yeah. you? Now, tell me a little bit. So there's four cameras on it? Uh, full, we have a full 360 degrees. Is that so at the four top? Four cameras. Uh, up at the top is actually a series of lasers. It's a LiDAR. Okay. Uh, it's just a, a, a way for the, the robot to navigate. It's is it using that little... Build a, can it build a 3D model from That's the That's what that is, yes. But, but can mm -hmm. it store that and give it back to you is it, if it's wandering around or is it just using it to, for navigation? It's using it for navigation, yeah. What's the notch in the in the top there, or is that just to look scary? Uh, on the front side of it, yeah. uh, when it flips around, that's another LiDAR. So in total, we have, uh, there's one, two, three, four, five LiDARs on that particular And are they all Velodyne? No, they are not. Okay. We have this is more than my Tesla. As well. This thing is better, than, it's, it'd probably be better at autopilot than my car. Um, and does it, does it do chemical, wow. uh, any kind of chemical recognition? Not yet. So we built it as a platform so mm -hmm. that as we move forward, we're constantly upgrading. So uh, the good thing about this is we sell it as a subscription. We're not selling the robot and saying, okay, good luck, because, I mean, we're dealing no, with... No, no, you want to support it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to make sure that we can support it, and then we provide the software upgrades, the firmware upgrades, and in some cases, hardware upgrades. You could put so a sniffer on it. We could. So as we go out and as we continue to develop, we can continue to add things onto the platform that it's for specific use cases. You could even add just a little notch and put a dog on it. <laughs> <laughs> how, tall, how tall is it? Uh, five and a half feet tall, three oh, feet wide. It's weighs, pretty big. Weighs 400 pounds. That's the outdoor version. We have an indoor version. Uh, it's a little bit shorter, about four and a half feet tall, two feet wide. But you obviously spent some time thinking about <laughs> what it should look like. Oh, yeah, definitely. And you want it to be a little intimidating? Is that part of why it's so big? Uh, it's less about being intimidating. As a matter of fact, if we had, if we had wanted it to be intimidating, we would have we painted it matte black, maybe right. given it red lights and a track uh, propulsion system. <laughs> <laughs> but Can I order, I would order that, that way? way? These, are <laughs> exactly. going, these are going into public areas. So you want the public to kind of embrace them. So yeah. we, we were very deliberate about the design of it. Uh, but most importantly is really, if you think about uh, surveillance footage, what do you always see on TV, on the news? Something coming down and looking at the yes. top of my head. Nobody wants to see my bald head. No, no, you want to see you the face. You can't identify face. me. Yeah. So if you look at the, the placement of the cameras, it is eye level. Eye we level. wanted to make sure that we Got had it. really good footage of anybody who was doing something nefarious. Does your software do face recognition? Uh, no. So facial recognition is incredibly difficult to do, even on a stationary camera where you have a fixed background, a fixed foreground, and, and only the subject coming in and out. Uh, once you start moving the camera around, it becomes infinitely more difficult. Now. Many companies are out there who are developing that. I mean, think about the body cams. Uh, yeah, or you, Amazon's you make recognition sure. software. Exactly. Yeah. So as that becomes available, again, part of the part of the service is being able to do those upgrades. And what, what's the, what's the subscription cost? Uh, really, really easy. We wanted to be completely inclusive. Uh, the only thing that's not included. Uh, it actually is included, but there's overage if we go over on data because they, they communicate via LTE primarily. Oh, interesting. Uh, so we give 100 gigabytes of data per month. Uh, if the clients go over that, then it's just a pass-through cost. I'm not a cellular provider, mm -hmm. so I'm not, I'm not selling that. Uh, so it's a pass-through cost. But everything else is included. So the stationary one starts at $4,500 a month. Mm -hmm. uh, that would that be all. for small areas, choke points, entry points. Okay. Uh, we, the indoor version and the outdoor version are both the same. They start at 6500 They top out fully loaded at 8300 a month. Mm -hmm. So for about half the cost of a 24-hour security guard, right. uh, which would be at least four or five employees because you have to have the overage and holidays and weekends and Wait such. Wait a minute. What's the K7? Uh, yeah. that's, I want that one. That's not yet available. Uh, that'll be coming out sometime next year, but that is an... That is an actual uh, running prototype that we have. Uh, uh, there you go. There's the video for it. What the, What would you uh, tell me about that? What would you use that for? Uh, so think about uh, perimeter fencing around a prison. Uh, keep contraband from coming in. Uh, think about infrastructure, nuclear power plants, Holy regular power cow. plants, uh, solar farms, wind farms. So this could handle uh, rougher terrain. Exactly. This one's intended to go uh, in a little bit more rugged environment, yeah. whereas the K, uh, the K3 and the K5 are intended for ADA compliant areas. Uh, I see. So, but this our parking lot is absolutely not smooth and perfect. It's got, as you can see, it's not well maintained. It's not having any trouble getting around. Not in at a all. Normal parking. Not lot. at all. If it's ADA compliant, if a wheelchair could go through it, 
you can go through. Right, and we do what's called the water hose test. Got to throw something down in front of it, make sure it can go over that. So the the small cracks and rocks and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is really interesting. It does. It is a little intimidating. Have you tested it? I mean, what do kids think when they see it? Uh, a really quick peek on social media will show you all kinds of robot selfies with kids, <laughs> adults, uh, dogs, cats. We had people who were going out and they were doing, they were posing their animals and their pets with the, with the robots. It's really, really cool. Uh, but again, that, that deterrence of the robot is selfie. absolutely incredible. <laughs> yeah, not at all, not at all, please do. I'll see it ran over his cord. Okay, yeah, yeah. Alex, stay out of the way of the robot, I'm just saying. Is it a robot, is that what you call it? We do, we do. Yeah. Night scope. Security, hashtag security robot. Hashtag security robot. How, how many, it seems like these are all over the place. Uh, we've, we're solely focused on the U.S. market right now. Okay. We've got them in 15 different states and all four different time wow. zones. Corporate campuses, hospitals, airports, uh, retail, uh, malls, really, really great in those environments. Does it help in apprehending criminals? I mean, tell me some of the things this can do. We've had some tremendous successes already. So we we were a, instrumental in writing an arrest warrant for a sexual predator. Oh, we wow. helped stop the fraudulent insurance. Because you had video or you had yeah. images of this guy. Yep. Wow. And wow. also, I mean, if you think about the other things that we have, we talked about the license plate recognition and right. the like. Uh, capturing additional information on a subject and giving that to law enforcement so that they can build their case better. Do you do anything special uh, about the video to make it more useful in prosecution of crime? Uh, the main thing, again, is having that eye-level video. That's yep. one. Two, we're using high, only high definition, yep. uh, and we also offer you, 4K capabilities. Is it time-stamped and stuff like absolutely. that? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So it could be used in court? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you have location, you have GPS location, you have... You do. Is it using anything in turn, so yeah. inside the, the malls, how is it managing its position? It's just using LiDAR to manage its position? Correct. Correct. LiDAR is the primary. Uh, we also have GPS uh, for the outdoor environments. Uh, mm -hmm. We're using wheel odometry and... Uh, also inertial measurement units and the like. So all those things are kind of combined together to give right. the robot a really good feel for where it is, what, what's the surroundings, are, uh, where the, uh, what are all the obstacles in its way, and then how can it navigate through those obstacles. Mm -hmm. It's gonna kill my Roomba though if it sees it, right? It's just gonna, <laughs> it's just gonna squish it, run it, right over it. Is it kind of like a Roomba in that sense? I mean, what? Tell me about the pattern. Do you do you tell it what pattern, or is it just kind of a random walk? Or uh, totally client dependent and environment dependent. Uh, right. You want to make cer certain that you're able to access areas where where crime is most likely to occur. Uh, think about a parking structure or a parking lot. Those are areas where security guards, uh, they, they get very bored very quickly. And so they tend to become complacent with their environment and not paying attention to all the details. There's Whereas, somebody at your headquarters. You want yep, to do something right about at my that? Door. That's right your, at my front door. So you've got one sitting I've there. I've got a K-1 sitting in front of my front door. We eat our own dog food, so we this have robots. This really is like a Ring robots. Video yeah. doorbell on steroids, yeah. isn't yeah. it? I love this idea. Absolutely. I want one for my house. Wow, that is really, really cool. Uh, night scope. This is the. You, we're looking at the K-5 patrolling our lot right now. The K-1 is stationary. That's what you have. Correct. Oh, look. There's even a map of, oh, of, yeah. of, of where it is. Map. Right so now. you can see all the different, uh, you were asking about routes, so this is a really good indication. You know, we go in, we can see all the different zones of where the robots can potentially be deployed. This is my headquarters. Uh, you can see where the robots are. Uh, a user can go in and schedule where they want them to patrol, oh, where they okay. want them to patrol. Great. Uh, so we come in and we work with the client to develop different zones, different patrol patterns, and then they can go in and change that by hour of the day, by day of the weekend, by machine. This is less expensive than a human and really yeah. safer, really, for the humans. You can get the information you need without having to patrol all the time. Very, very cool. What's the long-term future for this? Do, are we going to add arms and guns? Absolutely not. We draw a very, <laughs> okay. very thick red line between uh, weaponization and machines danger, and what danger, we do. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, and, and it's not a weapon. It's not intended to be a weapon. No, it's, it's, it's meant, its sole purpose is to give public safety officials, whether they're security guards or law enforcement, additional intelligence. We want to right. make certain that they have the information that they need to make smarter, safer, and, it, and faster And it decisions. allows it to get them over the tedium. So you have, like at a mall, you, now you don't have your, you have a QRF that is that is somewhere that, you know, in the mall. Mm -hmm. But they don't have a, a, quick, respon uh, a, Q a quick, quick response, response force. force. So officers yes. that can go yeah. to some 
thing and handle so it. So they're in a, in a central location, but they're not right. wandering around. Right. You have something that's telling you when it tells you that there's something going on or when you see something going on, they only have to react to that. Correct. But that keeps them less complacent because they're only reacting to things that are Yeah, important. you want to, the way you want to build this into your into your security buildup, I mean, for if you're a corporate campus, you want to come in and you want to put the robots where they're going to be most successful and you want to put the, put the people where they're going to be most successful. Right. We're not trying to replace people. This is a, this is not a one-to-one -one replacement. I'll be the first person person to tell anybody that. It's an augmentation. Mm -hmm. So if you put the robots in where, where people are bored, they're going to be right. very successful. Then the people are actually going to be doing less of that monotonous right. boring mm -hmm. work. Right. Give that to the robots and now they're going to be responding to things in a more adequate way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you've already exhausted Alex, our human. So we're going to we're, <laughs> we're gonna wrap this. I saw Alex is going, <laughs> well, let me, uh, he can't keep up with the robot. That's fantastic. What a really, uh, this is, uh, this is not science fiction. This is happening right now all over the country. It is today. I think it's just fascinating. I, I, I had somebody before the show ask me, is this the security guard of the future? I said, it's the security guard of today. Yeah. Nightscope. Where can people find out more? Nightscope.com. Uh, the quickest way to get information. Nightscope.com. Um, they can the request a demo uh, if, uh, if somebody's interested in uh, adding this to their security team. Yeah. Uh, and also... Uh, Get more information directly from the company. Co-founder, chief client officer, former Texas PD, Stacy Dean Stevens. I uh, the other reason it's so big is so somebody's just not going to carry it off. Do you ever lose anybody? Portability is not your friend in security. <laughs> not at all. So, so yeah. It's, 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 so I imagine the two back, guys the, in a pickup truck. Really you, could just, all you could just take this. There's put, there's put. numerous alarms. If you go out and you strike the machine, try to tilt it, pick it up, relocate Plus, it. Plus, it's got GPS. Yeah. I know where it is. Yeah, exactly. And I've already got the video of, of you, you taking doing it. it. <laughs> yeah, people often ask me, well, what if somebody steals your ring doorbell? I said, no problem, I got video. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right, right, right. And, yeah. it, and that's actually another couple of the crimes. I arrested somebody in Mountain View for attempting to tamper with one of our machines, <laughs> caught it all on video, provided that to police, and they went to jail that night. I got, I got you on tape, guy. Yep. Well, there's probably not any tape in there, but I got you bits. It's really, 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 really cool. Thank you, Stacey. I Thank appreciate you so your much. Time.